Hey everybody, it's Wednesday evening in the Philippines right now and I just got back from a screening of Avatar The Way of Water and I'm here with Marlon and we're going to give you our out of the theater reaction thoughts. So uh, try, let's try to, to, to stay spoiler free here because the, the movie actually hasn't come out in the States yet. I'm trying my best. <laughs> so, uh, I guess, what is your just initial reaction? I know uh, just coming out of the theater, your reaction is a lot less positive than mine, I think. Because mm -hmm. I, I, I pretty much, I enjoyed myself. I'll just say that. Mm -hmm. I... I didn't go in with a lot of expectations for what the movie should be or could be. So mm -hmm. just on a surface entertainment level, I enjoyed everything. It's a very pretty movie, just like the first Avatar movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I feel like some of your qualms might have more to do with the theater we saw it in. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'll let you. Well, we watch it in this, uh, since we're in Manila right now, we went to the closest movie theater in our hotel, which is the Power Plant Mall Cinema. And they say it's Dolby. And for some reason, it's blurry. He was saying like it's very clear, but it's it not- It looked clear to me. It's not 4K, it's like 360, and it's not. It's really bad. Well, it, it's Dolby in sound, not in the- The video quality, but he keeps on saying it's really clear. Because Dolby, not... Dolby is known for its sound, not for its- video it's not IMAX I still remember when I watch um, Rogue One in the movie theater and that's Dolby to me because that's Dolby at AMC yeah I'm spoiled with like movie theaters in the US right now but you get what you pay for we only pay how much did we pay for it like 760 pesos how much is that in the US I think it's, it's, it Let should be less check. than $15 for two tickets yeah, thirteen dollars for two tickets. So I guess I I get what I paid for. But at least we're able to like see it before people in the U.S. So there's that. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> the theater aside, what was your your reaction to like the story and just overall? Because uh, uh, I feel like I'm gonna end up giving you guys spoilers and like. Well, I I, 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 I think story. what you said before was just like. It, it didn't have as much battles as you had hoped for. Mm hmm Well, that, that's a spoiler. <laughs> well, no, that's not. That doesn't tell you the specifics or anything specific that happens in the movie. So mm -hmm. I think you could say that. I it, I thought it was fine, like, with the, the level of battles it has. Mm -hmm. it's, it's no, what, Avengers Endgame mm -hmm. or uh, Infinity War. More Infinity War, I would say, because Infinity War is like mm. uh, head to toe action. Yeah, or Doctor Strange, like from the very beginning, there's battle scenes. And, well, like one thing with this theater, uh, usually we're so used to theaters in the US where, especially AMC, you get like 25 minutes of previews. This one starts. And tra so. and trailers and, and advertisements. This theater, it, the, the showtime was seven. It started, I think, at like seven oh four. So uh, we we weren't prepared for that. And well, you're not prepared for for that, are you? Because I ended up like using the bathroom, and like I know there's gonna be like, you know, like parental guidance and like, how do you call the, those board again that prevent you from like releasing. That controls what to show to people. Well, I, th I think it's different here in the Philippines than the yeah. U.S. But it's a little more conservative in this country. Because when we went in, they were showing like those pre-roll theater, like "Welcome to the Theater" or something. Mm -hmm. And then, because you you left right after that, and then right after you left is when the 20th century Fox started. Yeah. Yeah. So you, so you missed a little bit of the beginning, but most of it was just... Well, I guess I'm okay uh, One thing I'll say about this, like, uh, I kind of felt like I needed a refresher on the first Avatar, because I don't really remember it that well. I remember it that so, well, because it was awesome. There were, like, details I felt like I couldn't remember. Like, it's like, 
was that a thing? How does that tie in? And I mean, I guess I won't go too much into it because it's not really told in the trailers, even though there's details of those things that pop up like in the first few minutes of the movie. Mm -hmm. As you sort of, you go over like a few years. Mm -hmm. like, like obviously because you see his children, it kind of covers that time span. Mm -hmm. Which isn't too big of a spoiler because that's like the first few minutes of the movie. But cause if I had enough time, if I wasn't busy, I could have looked for like a better theater, I guess. Because this movie theater, like, no, it's a disappointment. I'm so, sorry. what was your thoughts on like this? It's Avatar, so let's talk about the CGI. I, I already said I had a bad experience in the movie theater. There's, it's not HD to me. Uh, it looked, it looked fine to me. Uh, well, because you're wearing your glasses, that's the thing. But like well, for regular twenty twenty vision, <laughs> no, for regular twenty twenty vision, like this is not a good theater. Like my YouTube videos are way clearer than this movie. So I'll I'll say I I thought this CGI, uh, just like the first Avatar, it, it held up. And I mean, there's even more in this movie compared to the first one because you. Mm, yeah, I think so. Well, I it's some... a longer movie for one, and you spend a lot more time with the Navi. Like you, there's hardly any other well, human maybe, characters. Maybe I'll write movie. it. I'll write that on YouTube when it's available, and I'll watch it in my television, which is ultra 4K. So I guess it's better quality than this movie theater. But I got what I paid for, so there's that. Thirteen dollars for two tickets. What do you, What did you think about the? Well, we can't. I don't want to talk about story spoilers too much. But yeah, it's gonna be spoilers. Um, <laughs> but I'm just letting you know we watched well, it. What, way ahead of what you. was your? Did did the story hold up from what you were expecting from the trailers? I'll say that. I mean, the trailers were pretty vague about where the story was going, but I I, I felt like. Everything I saw in the movie kind of made sense with what you, I saw in the trailer. Like, I didn't feel like I was misled at any point. You know, like, some trailers do that, and then you see the movie, it's like, no, that was totally not where the story was, <laughs> was leading. I, I kind of felt like, obviously, it doesn't tell you a lot about the general structure, but, like, once you, you kind of see it forming, it, it kind of makes sense with what we saw in the trailers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well... How can I say? I feel like you've seen the trailer and that's the entire movie right there. <laughs> that's how I feel. I, like. I would say there's more to it, but yeah, the general shape of it is there once you see it. Mm -hmm. But like before you going into the movie, just see the trailer. It's hard to know what the it's like, not like actual beat story beats of the of the movie are going to be. It's not like when I saw the first Avatar. Well, I saw the trailer for like the first Avatar, and I was I was amazed by. It. Especially like the colors and all of that. And then I watch it in the movie theater and it's worth it and it's awesome. I remember I watched it in a different mall here in the Philippines and it's way clearer than this movie theater. <laughs> well, it's the closest one to us. I could have looked for like a better movie theater, but. Yeah, well, I think like... we, we could have sat closer as well. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard to know whether like sitting in the back is better in a movie theater. This screen definitely seemed smaller for how far back we were mm -hmm. it was like small the mm -hmm. screen was small yeah and let me think um i guess let's just wrap it up with uh would you what what's your recommendation for people would well, you recommend that they go see this in theaters or would you just wait for it on netflix just for me i i think it's it's worth seeing in theaters if you're interested i i would say it's not it's not really like the first one where it, it's, it's a, a cultural see. moment mm -hmm. where like you really need to see this. Now, granted, we didn't see it in 3D, but I don't feel like that's gonna make that big of a difference. And I don't, really I don't think I'm gonna rush out and see this in 3D. I, I don't think it would be. I'll watch really, it. Really, really worth in the it. US if it was the first Avatar, and if I was in the U.S., but I was in the Philippines when the first Avatar came. Yeah. Out, but so. you're not gonna see it again in Dolby just to see it well since US. i've seen i've seen it in the movie theater in here and and i guess i can rent it out on youtube i guess just to watch it again but i don't know like since i know the story what the story is all about like 
I don't know. Like, I don't. Well, he recommends it to you guys, but for me, like, I guess just save your money and just wait for it to come out on Netflix or Hulu, I guess. Or something. I, I don't know. It's up to you. It's just for me. It's my opinion. Okay. So, <laughs> so yeah. We, uh, for, for me, you have a sort of a light recommendation to see in theaters, and for Marlene, you have kind of just more of wait and. Just wait and wait save for your a video money. on demand. Yeah, save your money. Okay. Well, I guess that's that about it, unless you have any other thoughts. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, well, we're going to give you guys a spoiler review when we go back to the. Yeah, US. which you, you'll be able to check out on his channel, on my which channel. is Marlon Elias. Mm hmm. And uh, on my channel, because we're gonna post this on his channel, and he said like no spoilers and all of that, and I understand because that's the beauty of it though. We watch it way ahead of you guys. Like how many days ahead? Like three days ahead of you guys? More like a couple days. Couple days it's, ahead of you. It's just Wednesday now in the U.S. and um, people will be able to see it. No, it's still time. Wednesday here. In in Philippines. I know, but it's Wednesday in the U.S. now. They just and the people will start being able to see the movie on, on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. We're and like, people, there's obviously people who have gotten early screenings too, so mm -hmm. people have already seen it. But. We're like 13 hours ahead of you guys. 13, 15 hours ahead of you guys. Okay, well, uh, uh, like I said, you'll have to check that out on Marlon's channel, and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.